Hello everyone, here's a question. If the CP of 25 chairs is equal to SP of 30 chairs, find the loss percent. So clearly it's a loss in this question because they're asking us to find out the loss percent. But if you see here, they have not given the value of cost price of 25 chairs or a selling price of 30 chairs. They have just given that they are equal. Cost price of 25 chair is equal to selling price of 30 chair. So to find out this, we should have a same quantity that is 25 chair and 30 chair. Like they are both different, right? So we have to make sure that the number of chairs are same when you're comparing the cost price and selling price so that it's a profit or loss we can know. Since we don't know anything here, they have not given the value. We're going to assume that the cost price of each chair is 1 rupee. It's an assumption. It's not the value of chair. We're just assuming so that we can get the profit and loss here. We're just comparing here how, because the loss percentage will remain same. Um, so let's assume this. So let the cost price of each chair of each chair be equal to rupees 1. Then here they're talking about 25 chair and 30 chair. So I'll not take 25 chair here. I will take 30 chairs here because they are comparing selling price and the cost price, right? So we'll take cost price of 30 chairs. The cost price of 30 chairs will be equal to rupees 30. Because one chair is one rupee, then 30 chair will be 30 rupees. Now let's find out the selling price. So selling price of 30 chairs will be equal to now, I hope it's clear why I have taken I have not taken 25 here, I have taken 30 here because I want to get the selling price of 30 chair here. That's why I have taken the cost price of 30 chair, not 25. Now, if you see the question, the selling price of 30 chair is equal to 25 chair, that is cost price of 25 chair. But what is the cost price of 25 chair? It is 25 rupees, right? Because we have assumed that cost price of each chair is 1 rupee then cost price of 25 chair will be 25 rupees and this is same as a selling price of 30 chair so selling price of 30 chairs will be equal to rupees 25 now you can compare the cost price and selling price here because the number of chairs are same you can see that cp is more than sp so selling price is less than cost price which means we'll get loss here how to find out the loss so we know loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. Subtract these two values. So here the cost price is 30. So rupees 30 minus rupees 25. When you subtract these two, we'll get 5. So rupees 5. So 5 rupees is a loss here. And here we will find out the loss percentage. So L, L percentage or loss percentage is equal to how much loss? upon cost price we always compare this with cost price multiplied by 100 and substitute the values here loss is 5 so 5 upon cost price we're doing for 30 chairs not 25 chairs which is 30 so 5 upon 30 multiplied by 100 now cancel the numbers you can cancel 0 and 0 and uh, that's what we cannot cancel anything further so this is equal to 50 upon 3 you can go with your own cancellation, but your answer will be same at the end. So we'll get 50 upon 3 as the answer here or you can if you percentage. If you want to convert into decimal, you can convert it. If you want to keep it in a mixed fraction, you can keep it in a mixed fraction. So let me convert this into mixed fraction. So here we'll get 3. Now, uh, since 16, 3 is 48, which is close to 50. So 3 into 16 is 48 and we have to add 2 more to get 50. So we'll get here 2. I hope you all know how to convert this into mixed fraction. You can open this. 6 into, uh, sorry, 3 into 16 is 48. 3 16 is 48. 48 plus 2 is 50. We got 50 here. So you can convert the answer in decimal or you can convert the answer in mixed fraction. Both are same here. The answer will be correct. I hope this question is clear. In case you have other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.